welcome to Business Rockstars. I'm Alex Burley, joined by Brian Liu, co-founder of LegalZoom and CEO of Right Counsel. Thanks for being here. Always good to see you. You're welcome. Thanks, Alex. So for those who aren't familiar with your companies, if you could explain what both LegalZoom and Right Counsel are. Okay, so LegalZoom is something we started about it was actually about 18 years ago when we first got it started and it just really made the law accessible to everyone because we at that time especially there just wasn't access to lawyers who were willing to do really common things common legal procedures it's forming an LLC or getting a corporation started and that's that's the biggest thing that we do at LegalZoom which is we help businesses get started but now it's more so now we really try to help businesses throughout their life cycle as well so everything that you need to do from a legal perspective and also from just a non-legal perspective when you're starting out, giving you that help, and then once the business grows, having all the types of really mostly legal support that you're going to need, you know, for contracts, for employees, and helping people, helping business owners work through those situations as well. Yeah. And so, Right Council is a, it's a different company, a new company, kind of, a, I'd say, almost like a legal Zoom spinoff. Whereas LegalZoom was really about more every day-to-day -day types of legal matters, Right Counsel is about helping you find the right lawyer for hopefully those situations that you're not going to need a lawyer too often, you know, once in a lifetime types of things where you really need like a, the best lawyer you can get. Yeah, you know, a lot of our viewers and listeners, they want to be entrepreneurs, but they don't know what it takes to be an entrepreneur. So what would you say it takes, and really just in general, what does it mean to you to be an entrepreneur? I think what it takes to be an entrepreneur is that you've, I mean, you've got to love it. That's the main thing. You have to love it, and you have to throw away a lot of your preconceptions about what you would expect. You, you can't be somebody who expects every day to go a certain way. You can't think that, you know, I'm going to, you know, I have to get this done and I need this result by this time. You have to be flexible and you have to be driven, of course, because as an entrepreneur, you don't have a boss, which is great and it's bad for a lot of people because when they don't have a boss, they end up spending half their day you know, on Facebook or something else or getting coffee and they don't get anything done. So you've got to be self-driven as well. Yeah, and you know, it's difficult when you're in the trenches, you know, and, and you have to enjoy the day-to-day -day because it's not always about those big milestones that you hit. So how yeah. have you learned to love the process? I'll tell you, I mean, I'm starting Right Council again from scratch, really from scratch, and this is years after I started LegalZoom. So I'm experiencing all of those things again that I've forgotten. And for example, we thought that when we started and when we launched, I'm like, okay, this is in the legal industry. I should know this stuff. I should, I, I, got, I got this, this. I've got this, <laughs> right? And so for the first month after we launched, I said, what's going on? <laughs> Where's the business? Where are the customers? Where's everybody? And we realized, geez, we've got to go back and rethink things and kind of change things up and iterate and not necessarily pivot, but we gotta, you know, we gotta do this better. We went back to the drawing board, tried again. Still, we're like, you know, we're swinging air. I mean, what's going on? And I have to tell you, it took about, really, until just a few months ago that we finally started getting things right. And so, yeah, I. You, you've got to work through it, and it's, it's amazing how much time is actually spent on, you know, things that you forget how hard it was to get to where you were. Yeah. And, and, you, and it just makes you think that, you know, you have to have a certain level of humbleness, saying, I thought that I had everything right. I thought I knew everything, but I had to relearn everything again. Always being a student, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you started LegalZoom, as you mentioned, many years ago. Was it 17, 18 years ago? Yeah, it was in 2000. Well, we launched in 2001, but we really started in 2000. How has starting a business changed from when you started LegalZoom to Right Counsel? As an online business, I mean, it's, it's so much easier to start a business now. It is like, I can't say it's the resources and the things around you, there's so many more <laughs> uh, resources now. 
I mean, you've got things, of course, like business rock stars. You've got everything online, a wealth of information to help you at least, you know, help you prepare for what to expect. But in the end, in the end, it's still the same. <laughs> you know, you've still got to go through that process yourself. Still and, takes that intangible grit, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, and, go, oh, go ahead. I'm, I was just going to say, as a web business, you know, finding a web designer, getting a website up, I mean, that used to take $50,000 even or even more. Now you can do this, I mean, now it doesn't cost, you can go to Wix and you can do this pretty much for free, right? And so that type of stuff, I mean, before I could say, you used to have to spend $5,000 with a lawyer to set up your LLC. Now you can go to LegalZoom and do it for a couple hundred. So it's less expensive. It's a That's lot a less news. expensive. It's a lot faster, but I can't necessarily say it's a lot easier you know, because it's still hard. It's still hard. Mm -hmm. But there are certain things that, that makes the process, I think, a little easier. Yeah. We're going to continue this when we come back from break in just a moment. I'm Alex Worley, and this is Business Rockstars. Welcome back to Business Rockstars. I'm Alex Worley, continuing my conversation with Brian Liu. He is the co-founder of LegalZoom and CEO of Right Counsel. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Alex. Who would you say has been your number one mentor and what is the best piece of advice that they gave you? Oh, wow. See, I'm one of those weird guys. I never had a mentor. I really never Not did. Not even a long distance, someone that you, you know, read their books, listened to their podcasts, anything like that? Not really, but I'll tell you, if there was anybody who just imparted, a, you know, a little bit of wisdom for my, throughout my business career, it was always my dad. And he would say, you know, just tell me little things that, he, you know, at a certain stage of our company when we had, let's say, 20 people, he said, Brian, you know what? Now you're at that stage where it's not about what you do anymore. It's about who you hire. And that's going to be, you know, that's going to determine how successful you are. Would you say a lot of it has been intuitive to you? Or you, I, when it comes to making business choices, ultimately you've relied a lot on your own intuition? I, yes. But I think when you read some of these books like, you know, um, Built to Last and things like that, I think it reinforced a lot of the... I guess it's not really morality, there, but really kind of the things I already thought about. What a great business should be, right? Some of those basic principles. And it's, I guess it's not something you learn in school. I mean, you can read it in books, but you've kind of got to go through it. And you have to you know, talk to other people who are in the business and who are also, you know, I, I think I had more friends who were probably in similar situations. And we just, you know, would talk through different situations that we had mm -hmm. and as opposed to a mentor. Sure, yeah, peer mentor. Yes. <laughs> Do you have any advice when it comes to coming up with the capital to start a business? Ooh. Capital is a difficult thing. I, the only advice I would have is if you really believe in this business that much, do not be shy and don't be afraid to ask your friends and your family, but especially your family. A lot of people, I think, make a little bit of a mistake by saying, oh, I don't want to ask my family. And you know, my comeback to that is, why not? If you think this is such a great business and such a great opportunity, you should absolutely want them to invest to make money for them. And this is a little bit of a pressure test to see how much they really believe this. Mm. Yeah, I would imagine a part of it's probably pride a little bit, not mm -hmm. wanting to ask for money from family and friends. Yeah. But like you said, it's a good test. If, it, if, it, if you think it's such a great opportunity, then you should want them to make money off this business. You should want all your family to be rich because of the great things you've done. And yeah. it's because it's not just then about yourself. You're helping everybody else too. Sure, that's a good way of looking at it. Okay, so let's address the case that's sometimes common and that is it doesn't work out and you had friends and family who invested in you, then what? Yeah, that's, I mean, it, it is tough because that's, I think, the reason why a lot of people don't ask their friends and family. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I did. And because there was, I have to say, there was one situation where I got involved in a company. I helped raise some money from some friends and family and didn't quite work out the way I hoped it did or hoped it would. 
And so, look, I think a lot of entrepreneurs don't think this is going to be their only job, their only company, their only startup. They're going to do more. They're going to try. It's in their blood. So when I started the new company, I said, you know what? I'm going to give a portion of my own shares to them. I essentially said, look, your initial investment, I'm going to take my founder's shares and kind of like give it to you and reimburse you a little bit. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to give you your money back, but I'm going to basically roll it over into this new company based from my portion. Because you believed in me before, I'm going to take care of you. Okay, we'll end on this note, and that is, what would you consider your greatest success throughout this entire entrepreneurial journey? Wow. I think, I really still think to this day that the greatest success is that my relatives and friends who were able to invest into LegalZoom on an early days, I mean, they're, they're happy, and not only, of course, they're happy, but they're, they're financially... Um, Sound. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. That's wonderful. And I go back home and people will be like, you know, I, it, it really is a good feeling. It's like, oh, Brian, thanks so much. Thank you so much. You know, you've meant so much for our families and now we can retire without really worrying about a lot of the other things that people retire, worry about. I mean, they didn't put a lot of money, but it was the, it was the faith that they did. And I think my dad, honestly, uh, did a little arm wrestling and um, kind of forced them to do some, but they're, I mean, they're really happy about it now. And... Yes, that I don't think they're. I don't think they're that That's worried about awesome. their retirement. That's gotta feel so good. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and chatting with me. Always a pleasure to see you. Good seeing you, Alex. Thanks. I'm Alex Worley, and this is Business Rockstars.